Hey guys, it's your boy Mr. Mike HD here, back again with another video, guys, another rating prediction video. It's gonna be Arsenal, obviously from London, Arsenal Football Club, rating prediction for FIFA 19. Let's match 20 likes, lads. Comment below how your GCSE results went if you did. For my, if any guys wanted mine, went alright, I passed most of them. Getting into college. So yeah, let's get straight to the first player. Comment below any video ideas. We've got man like Leno, 85 rated at Bayern Leverkusen in FIFA 18. I'm predicting him to be around 84, 85 rated. Because he did have a decent season. He did a few mistakes that season, but he did play a ton of games and he still had his good games. So I don't know how a year you're going to do it, but I'm predicting him to be around 85, 84 rated. Now we've got Peter Cech, the beast himself, that some Arsenal fans won him away. In the start of FIFA 18, he had an 86 rated card. I'm predicting him to be around 85 rated. Once again, he had his good games and he had some terrible games. But I feel like he's starting to decline now. And I don't know if he can play a top club like Arsenal that's trying to achieve Champions League football. But yeah, I'm predicting around to be 85, 86 rated. Not much of a change. Still be an op a good card to use, a cheap one as a keeper, especially for the starter teams. For the cheap 100k teams, he'll be a good keeper. Our next player is Emiliano Martinez. This Argentinian keeper for Arsenal who has returned on loan from Getafe. He has a 70 rated card at Getafe. Um, he only, the strange thing is he only played 6 games for Getafe, right? When those 6 games, he had good games. Like, I remember watching against Real Madrid de Bow. So I'm predicting him to be around 72-73. But if he doesn't get upgraded due to the fact he didn't play many games. But yeah, I can see him getting maybe a 1 or 2 rating upgrade. So that would be pretty decent from his part. Argentinian, he won't be used. He's not nothing special. He's probably used for SBCs only. But yeah, man. We've got Mustafi. Squadran Mustafi. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Start of FIFA 18. He had an 84 rated card. I'm predicting to have an 82 rated card with less pace and less defending. Because he done shocking mistakes last season. That cost Arsenal games and points. And stopped him from challenging title. I'm not saying it's only his fault. The whole Arsenal defence, most of it was a shambles. So yeah. I rec I'm predicting him to be around 82 rated. He, he just hasn't... He's had his games, but overall he hasn't been the best of signings. Hopefully this season he'll do alright. Because I, I remember my Valencia and he was an absolute beast. Now we've got Koscielny. Laurent Koscielny. Start of FIFA 18, he had an 84 rated card. For FIFA 19, I'm predicting. Once again, he might get a downgrade. But I don't think so. I think he'll be... I think he won't change the card much. It'll be an 84 rated card. Maybe with less pace... And a little bit less defending, but not much of a difference. I, f I feel like he he had a decent season, nothing special, but no reason for him to get downgraded, if you know what I mean. So yeah, 84 rated for him, in my opinion. Comment below if you guys agree with these predictions I'm giving. I'll be doing Juve one soon, so be pumped up for that. We've got new signing Socrates now. Start of FIFA 18, obviously he had a Borussia Dortmund card. He had an 86 rated card, 78 pace, 84 defending. 84 physical, 87 defending, sorry. I'm predicting him to have an 87 rated card. He had an absolute amazing season last year. Played 43 games, lads, and he was just top class player. I feel like he will take time to adapt to the Arsenal style of play and obviously the Premier League itself. But I can see him getting upgraded to 87 rated card and what a card that would be. 79 pace, 89 defending, 86 physical. I can see him being used and abused in FIFA 19. Can't wait. Next player is centre back Rob Holding last season he had a seven, uh, FIFA 18 he had a 72 rated rare silver card I can't see him getting upgraded he, he was pretty shocking he's when he came the first season he was pretty promising but right now I don't know I don't know if he's not good enough or he just needs time but right I don't feel like he deserves uh, to be a 72 I feel like he's going to get downgraded to 70 rated card he needs time to improve and yeah Next player is Hector Bellerin, who has received a lot of criticism lately from Arsenal fans. But start of FIFA 18, he had an 81 rated card. For the for FIFA 18, and for FIFA 19, I'm predicting him to have a 79 rated card. Lads. I feel like we don't see that pace anymore. I feel like he he can't track back as he used to. His defending has been a bit shocking. He does stupid mistakes. He he never covers. Like he goes up and doesn't come back. I don't know, man. I just don't feel like he's the same player that he used to be. So I feel like he will have a downgrade of pace by 3 and a downgrade of defending by 3. He'll still be an OP card on FIFA, hopefully, but he doesn't deserve... He deserves to be downgraded. Our next player is Stefan Lichtensteiner. Once again, a new signing. K 
came from Juventus. FIFA 18 had Juventus card 82 rated. I, I predict that his FIFA 19 card is going to be 82 rated as well. So no, not much of a change. Probably less pace. A little bit more defending. He played 32 games. Maybe not starting all of those but consistently played throughout the season and he's a mad player and I feel like he can take Bellerin's spot comment below what you guys think but I feel like he can take Bellerin's spot due to the fact that he's got experience and Bellerin clearly doesn't because Bellerin does some stupid mistakes our next player is Jen Jenkinson who was at Loon at Birmingham City last season he was 73 rated I reckon you have a 70 rated card for FIFA 19 due to the fact he hardly played he played nine games lads nine games for Birmingham City in the championship absolute joke and he has he's not the promising player he was a few years ago the next player is a player that's gonna get an upgrade there lads yes you heard well an upgrade an Arsenal player again upgrade they haven't had the best season last season it's obviously Arsenal winger but start FIFA 18 he had an 80 rated card I'm predicting him to have an 82 rated card left back Natural Monreal, absolute beast, had an amazing season last season, probably also one of Arsenal's best players. I reckon you have a downgrade in pace, same dribbling, more defending, more physical, more passing. He's an attacking fullback, he was playing really well last season. And if there is a seed, Siad, sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, Kalasinak, lot of joint art Arsenal, joined Arsenal last season, had an 80 rated card, lads. I reckon you have an 81 or 80 because. First half of the season, absolute beast, lads. Second half was not the best. His form did decrease, but I don't know. I feel like it won't be much of a change. It'll probably be an 80 rated card, just same rating, or he'll get upgraded by one due to the fact his start of the season was really strong. So yeah, comment below what you guys think for Kalasinak. Our next player is a player called Granite Shaka CDM, that many fans just don't agree with him being signed and even playing for the team. But yeah, he had an 82 rated card in FIFA 18. Not the best of cards to be fair. But for FIFA 19, I'm predicting him to be 79 rated, which means that it will be decreased by three, three uh, ratings. He just had a terrible season last season. He just feel he's so aggressive, but he just feels like he can't pass the ball. He takes too long. He can't defend. I don't know. I don't like. It's crazy, man. Moving on. Anyways, we have got Mohamed El Nenia, one of the players, few of the players that shined for Arsenal last season. He's not the Ozil or whatever the star players, but he did have a good season, lads. He does a job when you ask him to do so. He had a 77 rated card in the start of FIFA 18. I'm predicting him at a 79 rated card for FIFA 19. He did play a few games, play a centre back sometimes in CDM, and he had a good season, man. He did well in the Europa League as well. I reckon you have an upgrade in physical, an upgrade in pace, and an upgrade in dribbling, lads. And his passing as well, man. Absolute insane player. What a bargain he was for 5 million. Our next player is the legend himself, Aaron Ramsey, who had an 82 rated card in the start of FIFA 18. I predict him to have, this is another one, he had a decent, he had his games, like half of the season was good, half of the season was bad, so I don't know how you're going to do it, but if it's, true, if it's based on his good times, then he'll get an upgrade by one. If not, I reckon he, ha he won't have, his card won't be much different, it'll just be same, pretty much. Not much of a difference and he'll be an 82 rated maybe a rare one but nothing special our next player is lucas terrera exciting signing who i believe will take granite shaka's place and hopefully will do bits one of my favorite players i love the way he plays really good player but anyways in the start of fifa 18 he had a 75 rated non-rare card lads and i'm predicting to have an 81 rated card center mid because last year was absolutely insane by him and i reckon he will get a huge upgrade so I reckon 81 rated card with 83 pace, 81 dribbling, 76 passing, 77 physical. All round the card, imagine that beast of a card in the Premier League, the hybrids and everything, It'd be crazy. Our next player is Henrik Mkhitaryan who joined Arsenal last season from Man United. He had an 85 rated right mid card which is pretty good, he had 5 star weak foot, 4 star skill moves which was usable. I reckon you have an 85 rated, not much of a change, he had a few decent games but nothing special, you only need time. Overall, he had an alright season, nothing nothing too special, but you know. I reckon you have an 85 rated, but you have a position change, so it can. Imagine this card, 85 pace, 87 dribbling. Oof. Our next player is Ainsley Maitland-Niles, who had a 65 rated right mid card in the start of FIFA 18. He did have a crazy season. He's not the promised, like, he is a promising talent, but not the Mbappe or whatever. 
but he is a really good he's a good player man he needs time he had really good games last season i reckon he have an upgrade by 5 to 70 rated card which would be good for spcs but not really a usable card our next player is iwobi and i believe this guy would be used for starter squads because once again also did have the best season but he had a decent season man last year he has 74 rated card i reckon for fifa 90 you have a 78 rated card with 82 pace 84 dribbling 65 shooting is not the best but hopefully you get a few special cards and improve it but for a starter squad he'll be a hidden gem hopefully in the game due to the fact of his pace and his dribbling his shooting is not the best but for a starter he should do our next player is danny welbeck really criticized by the arsenal fans but i reckon he'll get an upgrade by one in FIFA 18, he had an 80 rated striker card. I, I'm not sure about this one. Comment what you guys think. I feel like he'll get a left mid card because he played left mid a lot throughout the season. And he had good games, but despite being criticised for not being the best of players, he had good games. He performed well, in my opinion. Therefore, I reckon he'll get an 81 rated left mid card. But comment below, do you think the amount of games he played as a left mid is enough for a year to change him to a left mid, or do you think they'll still give him a striker card? Our next player is Alexander Lacazette. Absolute beast. Scored 10 goals. Pretty decent for the first season. He had hard times. Arsenal were not playing the best. Didn't help him out. But I reckon his card won't be much of a difference from FIFA 18. So you have an 85 rated card with 85 pace, 85 dribbling, 83 shooting. Due to the fact he is French, you can do hybrids and stuff. And he'll be just an absolute beast to play with, hopefully. But let's see how it goes. Hopefully he gets a few special cards if he gets a really good season this season. Joint with Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Our next player is Meza Ozil, who is not... I reckon you have, once again, the same rating, 88. Maybe, if he, you're feeling nice, maybe 89. But it's just, he's not consistent enough. I feel like he has amazing games. But after another game, in a big game, he just doesn't show up. So I don't know how you're going to base it on. But I wouldn't be surprised if he gets an 89 rated card. But I just can't see EA doing that. So I'll say 88 rated card. Pretty much similar, pretty much the same card to his FIFA 18 card. Maybe, yeah. Our next player is Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang and I believe he'll get rated, upgraded by one. He had a good, really start, a really good start to the season with Arsenal Like when he came in January. He did absolutely bits. I feel like 10 goals, 3 assists in the first 13 games in English football. Absolutely insane. But yeah, he had an 88 rated card with Dortmund, obviously. He scored 20, 31 goals and 7 assists in 38 games, lads. Absolute tank. Considering halfway through the season he joined the Premier League, so it's a different league, different place, and he adapted so well. That is absolutely insane. We have come to the end of the video, lads. Don't forget to smash the like button. Let's smash 25 likes if you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below FIFA, um, other teams you want me to do these type of videos, rating predictions for. I'll be doing a UV one. Let's smash 25 likes. Comment below how your GCSEs went. Wish you guys the best. Keep grinding, lads. Like, comment, subscribe, follow me on my socials. It's been your boy Mr. Mike HD here, back again with another video. I'm out. See ya.